Hey everybody, this is Bobulus, and we are playing Starship Titanic for the final time. We have collected all the parts, and now we are ready to wake Titania and finish the game. Uh, just to refresh, refresh you, we discovered that Robostagon and Scrolliontis, uh, the accountant and project manager of the project, were infuriated with Leo Venice, the designer, and decided to fuck with his stuff and then have the ship explode and collect the insurance money. But Leo Venice found out and he uh, killed both of them. And we haven't seen him since. But he presumably took off with the ship, so we've got no clue where he is. Uh, our only way to find this out is to wake up Titania. So, we shall. There's actually a little mini puzzle built in here. It's it's not hard to figure out, but if you didn't know it was there, it might screw with you. Okay, insert all the parts. Then the central core. Okay, now we've got the four centers, uh, speech, olfactory, auditory, and vision. And you slap these in here. We don't know the order. And the trick is you got to get the correct arrangement of the four. And it turns out we didn't actually get any of them right. Because when you get it right, the uh, associated uh, facial part stays. So, uh, uh, I'll just switch them around, see if any of those stay. Okay, so this, uh, let's see. Speech stayed, so we know red is correct. Try some of these. Okay, this time the eye stayed, so we know that the visual was correct. So we just gotta switch the yellow and the green. I'm terribly sorry about the parrot. No, really. I know how it must have been for you. Leo couldn't stand parrots either. So typical of Leo. So clever, he could never see what was actually happening. Everyone used to say of him, nobody likes a smart ass. He never saw how unfinished the ship was. That it was secretly being prepared for scuttling. Even I didn't realize till it was too late. And then they took my brain to pieces. Thank you for restoring it to me. My mind has been a bit of a blank, I'm afraid. And the ship has been wandering around in a dither. Leo has obviously been in a complete state. And probably jumped off the ship when you got onto it. Poor old nitwit. He's completely besotted with me. We should find him, I suppose. And you'll be wanting to get off home, of course. So, a little bit of a plot bomb by them, by Titania, nothing really new, just, you know, making sure in case you didn't do all the optional stuff we did. And, you know, someone asked me, you know, once you free Titania, could you go back and talk to the bots, get some more information, but no, if you try to get out, for mysterious and knowable reasons, the transport is temporarily out of order, so no, you can't leave this basement area. 
Uh, somebody asked me if it makes a difference if you deactivate the bomb or not, so I'm just going to start it up. The Mega Scuttler is now armed and preparing to explode. This will be a fairly big explosion, so please stand back about 22 miles. Countdown commencing now. 1, so, what Waking Titania gets us is this. Good morning, Captain. Welcome to your special transporter. The Captain's Pellerator, which takes us to the bridge. Now, there's not much to do here. You can look to the sides, but it just rotates completely around. Uh... There's a little bit of a joke here in that the captain just does nothing. He's like a captain on an oil freighter, as uh, Douglas Adams put it. He's just kind of there to sit there. Uh, the controls are stop, go, and cruise around a little bit in a meaningless wheel spin. And a seagull horn. We can cruise around a little bit, that's the only option available to us. Wee. Look at this go, we. So really nothing you can really do with the captain's wheel. Down here we got like a laptop, but it doesn't do anything, so. The only real thing down here is the navigator's thing. Uh, and our goal is to get back home. Luckily, we have a star chart. The picture of the stars above our house. So, we can activate the machine. This is where you're supposed to use 3D goggles, but they... It doesn't really work right. It's actually easier to use without the 3D goggles. Alright, so this suffers a little bit because of my clock speed, but uh, the idea is that you can just sort of rotate around, you can click on stars and zoom in on them. Uh, you know, there's... And then you can... Uh, you can tab back and forth between it and your house. There are blue and red stars here, but I'm not sure if those are actually going to show up in the uh, when it gets to Google Video, so oh, no big deal. This is kind of a neat idea. What you need to do is triangulate your house's location in the universe via this map. So what we do is we, we pick a bright star, that one will do, and we go back to the main map, and then we look around until we find it. Let's see. Since we're doing a you know a full view, this can be a little bit tricky. There it is. And when we got it lined up enough, it locks closer. So we've locked onto one of the three axes. Uh, unfortunately, you have to push this button to lock it, and uh, when you do that, as you can see, because of my clock speed, it, it scrolls away. But I can tab to the the uh, this view and back, so that doesn't happen. So we need to triangulate, so another star. There it is. Rotating. Can we... come on. Not a suitable star. Come on. Rotate. Come on. Oh, oh, oh boy, this is wildly, wildly out of control. Um, come on, you. It's a little bit, not so much a puzzle as just a exercise in frustration at times. There. Point lock on system.
there, we found our world, and I'm hoping that those tiny things are supposed to be human satellites, because otherwise the moon, there's <laughs> multiple moons. Destination set. All we gotta do is hit go, and that's the end of the game. So, thanks for playing with me, guys. I have lost a life and a dream. You may not care about my life and my dream. Well, I don't really care about your house. Building this ship was my dream, and now that dream is over. All I want is the love of a good woman, and also a fishing rod. Thank you for restoring Titania. I know she isn't real. Well, she's real, but she's not really real, if you see what I mean. So, to be honest, I'm more inclined to place long-term faith in the fishing rod. By the galactic laws of salvage, this ship is now yours. There is nothing like her in the universe. I wish you joy of her. I hope you manage to sort out the bomb. As for me, don't try to look for me. You won't find me. My life's work is done, and I've gone fishing. Goodbye. You know, I didn't notice it uh, the first time I played, but the fact that <laughs> I'm actually getting a little choked up here because the fact that, you know, he says his life is fishing and his last book was A Salmon and Doubt is just kind of a, a neat little thing. I don't know, this ending just seems more polished to me than the rest of the game. Maybe they put more effort into rendering it? I don't know. But we get some actual 3D ships of the shots of the outside of the ship. I mean, it's beautiful. Overall, I really like this game. You know, it uh, it's frustrating. It can really be maddening at times, but it had a lot of heart behind it. You know, that really helps. Three, the game. two, one. Huh? That does make a difference in the ending. We all died. Well, uh, that's the game. You know, if you don't, if you do defuse the bomb, it just stays with the picture unexploded, and you get these credits. That's about the only difference. So, wanted to make some thank yous before this ended. I wanted to thank Jotes for doing the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy LP and reminding me that this game existed, so I played through it again and decided to do an LP myself. I wanted to thank all the contributors to, contributors to my thread, uh, and in alphabetical order they would be Anarchy, Azekasif, Bloom, Brain Weasel, Brewski, C355N4, Cable Kid, Captain Duck, Captain Ricard, Case Study, Kato, Sikal Dalek, CMA6 Math, Cockmaster, Cuddlechucks, Delvio, Denictus, DISN, Doflamingo, Endrion, Felt Tip Hat, Glazius, In, In Rice, uh, Jade Dream, LS, Mac Like the Truck, Man Sedan, Memory, One Piece Kenny, Ragnarok Z, Silverman Zero, Sine Wave, Skellington Lock, Songbearer, Spoonzy, The Dian, The Talent Deficit, Tick Toe, uh, Unit 112, Web Dog, and 3L Fangor. And I wanted to thank you guys, the LP Forum, for supporting me in a great little thread. And uh, that's about it. As soon as the credits are over, <laughs> it's thanking Scott Adams. Let's see. Uh, oh, there was a great little one in here, I seem to recall. The Onion, His Excellency, The Emperor Palpatine, uh, Linus Torvald, all sorts of stuff. So clearly some nerds on this staff, but uh, 
basically as soon as the credits are over, it's going to kick us right back to the desktop. So this is it. Thanks a lot, guys. And hopefully see you in the future. Starlings, no starlings were harmed in the making of this game.